everyone, it's Amy Mae Dolan and you're very welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have for you the makeup that I do <laughs> for when I'm on stage for Riverdance. And this is the makeup look that I usually do for my lead performances. As well as this video being very requested, this week I've been missing the stage quite a bit <laughs> and missing my, my Riverdance family and just really the idea of dancing a show every night and getting ready for it. So I thought it was kind of the best time to take out my stage makeup and treat myself. This look is quite natural looking. It can be a lot of makeup because I am going on stage with bright lights and where it's very warm and I'm dancing so I can sweat a lot. But I do try to keep it natural looking with a nice striking red lip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I dare you <laughs> to subscribe and hit the bell button. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So we'll just get started. So usually if I was in a theater or an arena right now, getting ready to do the show, I would usually do this around 5 p.m. if the show is at 7.30. We have a cup of tea. I've got peppermint tea today, or coffee, um, or just lots of water, and um, sometimes a baraka, usually a banana too, and I, this is just really me getting my head in the zone and getting ready to do the show. So the first thing I'm gonna to do today is just clip back the front piece of my hair. So, the very first thing I do is, of course, moisturize. Now, one thing about this makeup is, <laughs> it's. Everything I do is to try and make sure it does not sweat off on stage. So I use a lot of kind of like um, moisturizer, primers, setting sprays, all that kind of stuff just to make sure the makeup stays on. If anyone has watched any of my previous videos, they will see that I love Dermalogica moisturizer. But before the show, because I know it is really gonna sweat off, I use this uh, Nivea one that's usually only about four pounds, I think, maybe like three pounds around that. But this one's good, it's a 24 hour moisture and express primer gel cream. So I'm gonna put that on my face. Okay, now that I've moisturized my face, I like to put a little bit of eye cream. Now this is a sample I have um, from Charlotte Tilbury. It's Magic Eye Rescue, it's called. I've been carrying around this little sample for a while. Um, it's really good. So I very gently kind of just work some very gently just work some of this into my eyes. Always been kind of told to go inwards, to help with wrinkle prevention. And then I'll just put a little bit of leftover on my eyelid as well. Good. Now before I forget, this isn't something I do before every show, but if my eyes look a little bit tired, maybe we've been on the bus traveling before the show for a few hours, uh, or I don't know, it's the second show of the day. The second show on a Sunday, you've had two shows a day before, you're feeling a little bit more tired. I will use um, Optrex Brightening Eye Drops just to brighten up my eyes. Next thing I do is take my primer. It, this is the first time I've had this primer, but I loved it. I do really like it and it is uh, Venti. Looks like this. And it's a pro filter instant retouch primer. I went into the lady in Sephora and I explained that I dance on stage and need my makeup to stay on and she recommended this one so that's the reason why I went with it and I have really liked it. Now the next thing I do, I don't really know why I do this, I think someone told me this before and that is taking your setting spray and just putting it on over your face. I think the tale that I was told is that it's setting all the moisturizer and the primer, but it's also, again, just like another thing that the foundation and powders can lock onto. And I love the smell of this one. This is Tarte Reinforced at the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. Just like that. Oh, I love the smell. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is put my concealer on my eyelids. This one is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Whenever I was repurchasing the foundation, the lady in the store recommended this concealer to go with it, and I have really enjoyed it too. A little bit across my eyelids. I always start with my eyes, and then just in the corners and down a little bit, because I do tend to have quite dark circles, especially if I am a little bit more tired. Oh, I look 
I always just think I look so funny. This what I'm gonna do is just rub that in. You can use a brush or your fingers. Um, if I feel like I haven't rubbed that in enough, I'll just take a brush. This is a real technique expert face brush. So it's really nice, brightening. Because <laughs> you know it's very brightening. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, I wouldn't really usually do this next, but right now <laughs> because of um quarantine and the lockdown. I haven't been able to get my eyebrows tinted, so they're very pale, and just so it doesn't distract you for the entire video, I've decided I'm going to do my eyebrows now. <laughs> I'm using the Ela Masqua, and I talked about this in my last video too. If you haven't seen my go-to everyday makeup look, I'll link it in the, the description below. So this is Ela Masqua Eyebrow Cake in the shade Peak. It looks like this, and it matches my hair quite drop things I'm so clumsy and then this is a MAC 263 brush it's just an angled kind of brush and then I'm just gonna kind of start over here they're very pale at the minute that I even find it quite hard to find them I do very light strokes and I'll try to do the other side Okay, now that I've done my eyebrows somewhat decent, <laughs> um, it might not distract you as much to look at me without eyebrows. The next thing I'm going to do is just rub a little bit of my powder over my eyelids to set that concealer. This is the Laura Laura Mercier Laura Mercier <laughs> translucent setting powder. Wow, if there's one product in the world that I love and highly recommend, it is this one. And I kind of talked a lot about it in my last makeup video, but I really, really do love this. This is my second pot of this, and I just know it's probably going to be something I use for the rest of my life. I highly recommend. So I'm just taking any kind of big fluffy brush, putting some powder on it, and then just putting it all over my eyelids. Okay, so now that I've put some powder on them, I'm now going to do my eyeshadow. Again, this is another product um, that I already talked about in my last makeup video, but this is the Anastasia Bob the Bobberly. <laughs> this is oh, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance Palette. <laughs> um, it is. I've used it a lot. Actually, I have a nice story for this. I bought this to do my makeup for my first ever lead performance, which was three years ago yesterday. Yeah, so I, this is three years old and I really have used it for nearly every single uh, lead show I've ever done with Rubber Dance. Take this colour here, which is raw sienna and burnt orange, and I'm just kind of mixing the two together. Just putting that in the crease area there. Hope you can see me, I'll come a little bit closer. Um, or a rubber dance look is very natural, which I love. So now I put that into the crease. I'm going to take this like pencil-like brush. This is a Morphe M506. I'm dipping it into the same two colours again. And this time, this time I'm just going to put it underneath the bottom lash line. Just doing that now on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is just take a smaller kind of fluffy brush. It doesn't even need to be smaller, just whatever nice fluffy blending brush you have. This one's Morphe M441. This time I'm gonna break, oh, oh God. Anybody who has watched more than one of my videos realize, will realize now that I drop everything. But taking a darker brown, and this I'm just kind of focusing on the outer corner area just to give it a little bit more definition. Again, this actually isn't something I always do, but some days I just look at my makeup and think, oh, my eyes, and I just think, oh, they need a little bit more something. And then I go back with the big original fluffy brush and I just blend it all in. Blend, blend, blend. Very I go back with the 
smaller pencil brush and a little bit of the darker brown. And just again, only on the corner part. And then just really make sure that's all nice and blended. Now you're going to take um, any other kind of brush that you use for lighter eyeshadows. What I'm going to do is use my highlighter. I've actually never used this highlighter for the show before. It's new, it was bought to me by a lovely friend. And this is Benefit Cookie. And what I'm going to do, what I always do with my highlighter is just put it in the inner corner of my eye, right in here. And then whatever's left over, I just pull that across there. Okay, and then I dip in against the highlighter and I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyebrow. Wow, so highlighted. <laughs> now I'm going to the other side. Taking my angled brush that I used for my eyebrows, I'm going to put it into um, any kind of brown eyeshadow what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of creating a track to follow with my eyeliner. With my, this is a Tarte eyeliner. It looks like this. <laughs> like a felt tip pen, kind of. And I'm just giving myself a little track to follow for that winged eyeliner look because I don't trust myself to just do it with that. So I just follow the lower lash line up and draw a line. The hardest part possibly of my makeup, my eyeliner. So I'm going to start um, in the inner corner and then work my way out and then try and get that nice flick. So I'm really trying to stay as close as I can to that lash line. It really is like art. Here's my mum. For the hardest part is drawing the little wing. So, I wonder can you see me? I'll try and stay back so you can. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna find it, like find the line here and connect it to that eyeliner I just done. Okay, now I'm going to just do that all on the other side. The way my hand was shaking there just reminded me of a funny story whenever I was getting ready to do the 25th anniversary gala night of Riverdance in the Three Arena in Dublin <laughs> that we were filming for cinemas. Whenever I was getting ready to do that, my hands were shaking because I was full of adrenaline and I was excited and I was nervous. But whenever it came to my eyeliner, I had to take like really deep breaths and just like, oh, you can do this. You can do your eyeliner. <laughs> You're going to dance Riverdance tonight. You can do winged eyeliner. Next thing I do is just put on mascara. Just on my top eyelashes, I don't put any on the bottom. This is a little sample mascara from Tarte. It's called Big Ego. I'm on the hunt for a new mascara, so I'm just testing this sample for now to see if I like it. Mascara done, we can now move on to the face. So up until this point, I've moisturized, I've primed, all that stuff. Now I'm just going to go in with my foundation. So my foundation is Double Wear by Estee Lauder and I find that this for me has been the best foundation that has survived the test of very bright lights, very warm theatres, uh, my me dancing as hard as I can. So for me this is the one that I love right now and this is the shade 2N2 Buff. Now, I definitely put on a lot more foundation for performance than what I do in real life. So if this looks like a lot, you can understand why. Pour my foundation onto my brush and then I'll just put a little bit kind of all over at the start. And then I just rub it in. You'll notice that I leave this area quite blank of foundation and that's because I'm going to be coming in there with concealer mostly brighten up that area because of my lovely dark circles. Just a little bit more. Oh, I wish I was dancing a show tonight. This makes me so sad. <laughs> so, if I was dancing a show, I'd probably put a little bit even more on than this, but because tonight I just will have to take it off again. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish I was dancing a show. Um, I'm not gonna put much more on. Okay, so next I go back with my concealer and I'm just realizing I forgot
forgot to uh, tell you what color it was. It's 1N Light Neutral. What I'm going to do with this is just put a few little dots under each eye to try and brighten up my really dark circles. I used to use a beauty blender to rub this in. Then I used my fingers for a while. Recently, I've been kind of doing a mixture of my fingers and just my foundation brush. Beauty Blender worked really well for this, but I find that they just get really dirty and I felt like I was maybe getting spots, for extra spots from it. Maybe not, but that's just what I felt like at the time. Really, I don't like this to be too contrasting from this, so I do try to blend it in a lot. With the foundation brush and that kind of helps with the color of it. So once I feel like I have that blended enough that it's not too like white orange, <laughs> just rub a little bit of the leftover brightening concealer during the center of my face. Okay, next I'm going to powder all of that using my Laura Mercier powder, and this is where I really love it. I just use it so much, so often throughout the show to top up or fix my makeup and it just works so well. So I usually dip my brush into it and then squirt it off, tap on, tap on the excess. I start on that under eye area because for me, for some reason, that's just the area that mostly needs powder to kind of keep all that concealer in place. Again, if I was actually dancing a show tonight, I'd probably put on even more, which that might be hard to believe. Once I've powdered my face up, I'm now going to bronze my face. So use any kind of big fluffy bronzing brush that you have. And I use the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer. And I just try to find my kind of cheekbone area and start there. I don't really contour, I, I don't think. I put my bronzer in that area, but I also put it like here and here across my chin, and then I'll do it on that side. Okay, I also just take it across underneath my eye. Again, that's just to eliminate that kind of harsh whiteness. I've, put, I've said this, but the main thing that we go for in Riverdance especially is just that it looks really natural. Of course, in the audience, this is gonna look more natural than what it does up close. Okay, next is blusher. This one is Tarte Beaches and Cream Beach Cheeks. Actually, I get creamy kind of blusher, so it stays on better for me. I love kind of um, blushed cheeks. I think it's really pretty. I actually don't think this is the blusher for me, um, as, especially for the show, but I like it for now, and I'm gonna use, use it up, but yeah, I don't. I don't think it's my. It's, I don't think it's my favorite product, but it, it does the job. Something I do with my blusher that people might find strange is I put it down the front of my nose just a little. That's just because if I, if I was to get sun naturally, which means I kind of sunburn, even though I try to avoid to. I would get kind of pinky here, here, and here, and just a little bit there. So that's just a little bit more natural looking for me, I think. Now, I do feel a little bit pinky looking tonight. Whenever that happens, I just kind of rub it out. That. Now, I don't take too much highlighter because sometimes it doesn't look well on stage with the bright lights. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the highlighter that I talked about earlier that I used on my eyes and put it on my cupid's bow. Just a little bit down the front of my nose and on the high points of both of my cheeks. Like there's probably too, there's a way too much there. So I'll have to blend that in. And just there and there. This can look really funny on stage and I sweat a lot, which already makes me look shiny. So I don't want this to make me look extra shiny. Okay, so now that I have all the products on my face and it's somewhat painted, I get to do my favorite part, which is my red lipstick. The last few shows we done, we were starting to use more of a brownie, nudie kind of natural looking lipstick. 
um, especially for the filming in the three arena but I really do <laughs> love the red lipstick look so I'm going to show you that today. So the first thing I do is I'm going to just line my lips with a red lip pencil. This one is MAC Ruby Wee, I think. That's it. They're nice and lined. That probably looks so funny. The next thing I do is take my lipstick. Now, I have two favourite red lipsticks. This is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips. Green Siren is the colour of this one. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Tulip Liquid Lipstick. I really love this one because it's the first ever red kind of lipstick I wore for my first late show, first late performance firstly tour with River Dance and um, so it holds a very special place in my heart. Then I discovered this one and I really love it just as much so what I do is I mix the two of them. First thing I take is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and this is more pinky kind of more bright so I just put it in the center area. As you can see that's almost like a pink <laughs> lipstick that looks so funny. Then what I do is I take the more redder kind of color and use it to kind of rub this all around. So that's it. So really the centerpiece of this makeup is the red lipstick. Now another thing I, that I do is I um, put on like a setting gel on my eyebrows. This one is Ila Masca Brow and Lash Gel and I Basically, I love the look of my eyebrows standing up and this is first done on me for a, a photo shoot that I done before and I loved it and then I just kind of kept doing it. So I just pull my eyebrows up. Once I have the lipstick on, I can kind of see if there's any more adjustments that need to be done. If I need like darker eyeshadow, more bronzer, whatever it might be. Another thing that I sometimes do for the show, um, usually only if I'm doing a lead performance, and that is put on some false eyelashes. The ones that I use are Ardell Demi Wispies, and they're very natural looking. Um, but I don't always do this. And again, I do like for the makeup to look kind of quite natural. Big bright eyes, nice strong red lips. So I, I don't think um, I don't think I'll put them on tonight because I don't always do it. The last thing I do is set my makeup with MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. Like that. <laughs> and sometimes I'll even put on the other setting spray too. But what usually happens is I'll go now, get ready to warm up, I'll warm up, I'll come back and I'll have to like touch up my makeup quite a bit. That's it. So now I'm just gonna pin back my hair for you to see what it looks like. Okay, so I just done that very quite quickly and roughly because I would like to do a different video on my hair routine and my hair for the show. But that's basically what I look like and I always wear my pearl earrings for my lead performances. So that's it. <laughs> the way I do my makeup for going on stage and I have to say this was a really fun video to film and exactly what I needed this week just to remind me how much I do love getting myself ready to dance in the show and it was quite like nostalgic for me but I absolutely loved filming this. As always if you have any questions about any of the products or anything that I've done leave the questions in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Please comment below what videos you would like to see from me next. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you might like to see my everyday go-to makeup look that you can find either in the description below or here. <laughs> I will also put some videos here that you might like from my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified on all my future videos. And thank you so, so much for watching this. See you again. <laughs>